WFTL. He's a nice Jewish boy from New York. Well, he is from New York. It's Rich Stevens on 850 WFTL. Here's Rich. All right, listen, it's a hot topic, and it's happening in South Florida, and it's gotten out of hand. The fact of the matter is that pet dogs are not allowed in grocery stores. Owners are bringing them anyway. Dogs are not allowed in the mall. Owners are sticking them in baby carriages. What do you think when you see a dog sitting in a grocery cart? 877-850-8585. This is The Rich Stevens Show. I'm Karen Curtis with an 850 WFTL news break with breaking news. Rescue crews are responding to Atlantic Community High School in Delray Beach. All we know right now is that Delray Beach Fire Rescue said that there are multiple patients with burn-related injuries. 850 WFTL will bring you more information on this as it becomes available. Right now, it is partly cloudy, 71 in Lake Worth, partly cloudy, 73 in Oakland Park. I'm Karen Curtis. On A50 WFTL. Enjoy a bagel with a schmear, not a schmuck. The Rich Stevens Show, 850 WFTL. Here's the schm- uh, here's Rich. All right, so we're talking about the pet dogs. They're not allowed in grocery stores, and for some reason, owners bring them in anyway. I, I I don't know why. I can't explain it. I know this is a South Florida thing. I was at the Town Center Mall last weekend, and you see people that don't look like they should be wheeling around baby carriages, and yet they're with a $3,000 Louis Vuitton baby carriage, and you, you peek inside, and it's a little dog. 877-850-8585. Uh, what do you think when you see a dog sitting in a grocery cart? I mean, either in the basket or in the uh, little seat that's meant for babies? Do you consider it cute because dogs are people, or do you find it disgusting? And no, a pocket-sized little foo-foo dog is not an exception. But even a service dog accompanying uh, a disabled person must be on a leash. Or if they place it in a shopping cart, which they shouldn't be doing anyway, it must sit on a mat or in one of those pet carriers. If you go in a grocery store in South Florida, I'm sure you've seen this. I saw somebody the other day in CVS with a Rottweiler that was bigger than me. Oh, and everybody thought it was so adorable. It was so friendly. But what happens when that dog bites somebody? You got a lawsuit against CVS, that's for sure. The truth is that the federal laws designed to protect people with disabilities are being abused by people who bring their pets into stores. 877-850-8585. Brian in Miami, how are you today? I'm fine. Rick? This is Rich. What's up? Rich, excuse me. I'm sorry, sir. Hey, this is Brian. I just have one... Quick short comment, okay? Uh, as far as dogs in restaurants, uh, I personally would rather see some dogs in restaurants than a lot of the people I see in those restaurants. Great. Thanks for Thank adding so much to the show you. today, sir. I do appreciate it. Unbelievable. 877 850 8585. The problem is, and I've spoken to, listen, I've lived all over the country. I've spoke to people in different areas. This doesn't happen as bad in Orlando. It doesn't happen as bad in Jacksonville. It doesn't happen as bad in Tampa or Daytona. But in South Florida, it's rampant. (laughs) 877-850-8585. I'm not laughing at, I'm just laughing at the birds flying into the windows here at the radio station. It's, this is just one of those days. 877-850-8585. You're on the air with Rich Stevens. Hello. Hi, Rich. Hi there. Hi. You know, I don't know why you're so upset over it. People do whatever they want. Why do you think the kids do it? I can do it. Why can't I? Well, why Tell do I think I the kids do it? What are you talking about, ma'am? About a dog taking okay. a dog. What, what in do the, the kids? Story, what do the kids the have restaurant. to? What do the kids have to do with it? No, I'm just saying that. That's the attitude we have in the world. Why can't I do it? It's my dog. All right. You know, ha- have, have, have fun with that, Mary. Want... Have fun with it. Let's go to uh, Don in Miami uh, Palm Beach Gardens. How are you today? Oh, I'm doing very good, Rich. How about yourself? I'm doing great. I'm just trying to make sense of all this. Unless that animal has one of those green service collars on uh, uh, on the animal, it is not a service dog. Well, that's the and issue here true. because it no, changed that. January 1st. It changed. You have to have a federal ID, not one of these fakakta things that you find online for 40 bucks that makes your animal a service animal. And companion dogs are not service animals. This is the big issue here. Just because you want to bring that foo-foo dog because you don't want to leave him home alone doesn't mean... And I see these people. I see grown men in Costco walking around with a dog that weighs about a pound and a half. Do you know how stupid you look? 
Obviously not, because they don't have a problem with it, and then Costco lets them in. So, so in other words, what you're telling me, you went to the Capitol Grill, and I'm glad we're calling out the restaurant. So you went to the Capitol Grill, and you had a floor show, no charge. Literally. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, see, this is the problem, Jen. It happens over and over again. And we need to come up with some kind of action plan that we can prevent this from happening, because no matter how much you love dogs, you don't want them peeing next to you in a restaurant. Quick time out. You're listening to The Rich Stevens Show. Can't get enough of Joyce, Jen, Bill, and Rich? No. 850WFTL.com.